everybody, it's Trish here from Pinky's Farm. It is Sunday and as promised, I have a thrift haul to show you. Now, I have two kinds of items in my thrift haul. And this is a cumulative thrift haul that started probably about six weeks ago and I've just been adding things as I go. My dog is barking to come out. Stand by. Come on, Brady. Today, come on, come on. Okay, thanks for being patient with me. So anyways, um, I thought I would start with the most fun thing, no gravy, the most fun stuff in my thrift haul, which is some dresses that I picked up. Um, I'm always looking for cute dresses because I wear dresses more than I wear pants or shorts. Um, excuse me, I'm distracted, my dog. Okay. So anyways, um, I'm always looking for cute dresses and over the past like six weeks since I started really looking intently at dresses in the thrift store, I have noticed that the prices have gone way up. Just like with gas, just like with groceries and everything else in our lives, the price of thrifting has starting to go up. Um, when I started you know, really looking hard for dresses. They were $5.99, they were $7.99, and they were $7.99 for quite a while. And then suddenly one day they popped up to $9.99. And I thought, okay, you know, it's still under $10. That's a good price for something that I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of, so I'll still shop for them. Well, then I walked in to my Goodwill last week and all the dresses were $12.99. So needless to say, I didn't buy nearly as many because I can get a brand new dress at Marshalls or TJ Maxx for $12.99. So um, I don't know how this is gonna affect my shopping. The main thing that I'm always looking for in thrift stores is linens because I have a Poshmark store. I will link it below. If you see any of the linens that I'm gonna show you today, if you're interested in any of those, that's where they will end up somewhere in the next week. So I'd say by the end of the week, all of them will be listed on Poshmark. But the first dress I want to show you is actually the one I'm wearing. This is just a little gathered, it's a tiered, ooh, my contact. It's just a tiered dress, it's double brush poly, it's really stretchy. And this was a $7.99 dress, and I love it. It's got an animal print on pink, which I just love. I wear this all the time. It really feels like pajamas. I've slept in it, but I've also put flip-flops on and worn it out, you know, to the feed store or whatever. The second dress that I wanna show you is the one that everyone in my last video went cuckoo about. And here's the basic shape of the dress. And then there's two little places here where you can tie it in a knot, which is what I did. I knotted it, but you don't have to. I thought it would be really cute knotted. I'm looking to see if I've got people coming over. Um, but I like to tie it in this little knot right here. And it's rayon shally. It's a really pretty Hawaiian print, nice and cool. And yeah, that was a big hit for $9.99. Okay. The next one I got, really this is more Jen from today in Jen's sewing room than it is me. And I honestly think I'm going to take it to her and see if either her or Michaela can wear it because it's just a little too tight in the chest for me and I keep popping the buttons. And I don't know if it's an issue with the buttons or if it's an issue with my chest. But anyways, I don't want to keep popping open for people and I think I'm probably a little bit larger in the chest, unfortunately. So I thought maybe Jen would like this. It's her color because she loves coral. And so, Jen, if you should happen to see this, this is coming your way when I come to visit you in a couple weeks. Lately, I've been on like a green kick. I've made a couple of green dresses. Um, I dyed some stuff green, and I'm just, I don't know, I'm just really in the mood for green lately. And so here was a really cute little kind of teal green dress that I found thrifting. And... I love the way it has like the same pattern but two different sizes. There's this little tiny ditzy print and then here it is in a larger print. And they did that all over the dress 
with the two different prints and it just really makes it cute. So I've already, it's got pockets in it. I've already worn the daylights out of this dress and this was a $7.99 dress. Look at this little cutie. Isn't that darling? This is like a knit with embroidery at the bottom and it's just got that really flattering little ruffle around the shoulder. And I love this dress. I have not worn it yet, but um, I thought that was a really good find. It's in excellent condition, washed up wonderful and dried. And um, yeah, that's a dress that I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of because black is always a good color, right? I mean, you just can't go wrong with a little black dress ever. It's perfect for everything. Okay. Oh, there's an empty hanger. This is another one that I just adore. This to me was such a good find. I have been looking actually for navy with sunflowers on it for quite a while. And this is made in a really cute summer style. It's got pockets on both sides and just the elastic in the back. So it stretches around the bust. It's the perfect length. I just love it for summer. And I'm gonna wear this with my little just a plain denim jacket or my white denim jacket. I think either of those would be really adorable with this. Isn't that precious? Again, another little black dress. I don't know if you can see that this is just another tiered dress, almost exactly like what I have on. So I will get a ton of wear out of this. This was a $5.99 dress. That's a pretty good price. For something that you will wear as much as I'm going to wear that. The next one, the belt is missing, but I would not wear the belt anyway, so I'm just going to pull these little belt loops off. It's just a stretchy, crisscross in the front, maxi length with a three-quarter sleeve, and it is so cute. Now, I'll probably have a little camisole or something under here just to bring the neck up a little bit but it is colors that I would totally go out and buy. In fact, I frequently do go out and buy fabric like this and sew me dresses with it. So I just think that is so pretty. And I mean, that would be perfect just to go to a wedding or, or anything. So cute. Do y'all remember those tennis shoes that I tie dyed? Well, this is gonna go great with them. I was wanting to sew me a dress to go with them, and I probably still will. And I have a ton of clothes that will go with those shoes. But this is just a little pink A-line t-shirt dress. It's my doggie now wants to go in instead of come out. And it's a little thin, but it's a good run around dress. I love the pockets. And um, it'll just go great with those tennis shoes. This is just the epitome of a summer dress to me. I mean, I'm definitely gonna need some structural undergarments like one of those camisoles that have too tight or something like that because this is pretty thin and it's going to show every bump and bulge but I don't care because I like it okay stand by let me do the dog come on Granny in you go be happy okay the next dress I bought is just this little jumper and it has pockets in the front. And if you can hear this, it really would remind you of like a, not shirting, it's definitely like polyester or something. It's like a, I can't think of the name, but it's really cute and it's a little bit big for me. I'm gonna have to take it in just a little on the sides, but I love the two pockets. I love that I can stick any color of a t-shirt under this. And I mainly got it because I want to cut a pattern from it because it would just be so simple to cut your own pattern from this little thing and make it in a bunch of colors. So, yeah, that's my little kind of nautical stripe. A little jumper. Let's see, I'll stick with dresses. The next dress I got for this summer, I have already worn and loved quite a few times. Um, this is just a sheared top. Sheared, sheared, what is sheared?
top, and then it's like seersucker, but almost like gauze, with a big ruffle at the bottom. And this, so this is the second maxi that I found that I really love. I've been wearing this a lot. Um, it is just. It's nice because the straps are big enough to kind of hide your bra strap. And, you know, it's just flowy and comfortable and cool. So, that's that. And then the last item that I thrifted in the last six weeks for myself and have made myself stop now that everything's $12.99. But I found this really cute skirt. And I thought, this pretty ruffle. And it just has a little slit right here. So... You know, it, it breathes, it's airy. This is rayon chalet also. I thought that was a really pretty pattern, the stripe with the flowers on it. Just an elastic waist. On me, it's about midi length. So, yeah, I just thought that was really cute. That could also go right over a bathing suit bottom and just be a nice little bathing suit cover. Or yet, I could put some wedges with it and I could go to church in it. So really cute okay that's all the dresses that's all the selfish fun stuff that I got um, so I want to also show you all of the bed linens that I got because let's see if I can sit you down here I know this is kind of an awkward video because I'm moving around a lot but I wanted to show you a bunch of bed linens that I got because they are going to be 99% of them are going in my Poshmark store. Um, and a few of them I'll probably keep to make some cute vintage type clothing out of. But um, I just wanted to let you know if you're coming to me from YouTube on Poshmark, I will give you a discount if there's any of these linens you want to sew with, to use in your home, etc. So all you have to do is just Put a comment in when you go to Poshmark and just say, hey, came to you from YouTube. And that's an automatic 10% discount. Plus, I will um, reduce the cost of shipping. So the first item I have, I have two of these. I have, is this a flat sheet? Yeah, I have a flat and a fitted, I think. Nope, two flats. But isn't this cute? I think these would be so cute in a kid's bedroom, a teenager's bedroom, or to make some really cute kind of 60s kind of outfit. Really pretty. They are somewhat faded in places. Um, definitely well-worn. I do believe they are all cotton. Let's see if I can check that for you. Um, in my Poshmark descriptions, I will put what the material is made of, what the size is, so there will be no guesswork in that. I'll also let you know on there if these are faded at all. So I don't know if my camera is picking it up, but they are slightly faded. I just like to think of it as character. Um, as long as a sheet is clean, not stained, um, and you know, even if it's a little bit faded, if it's still really pretty, I will still pick it up. They go through the sanitizing wash on my washing machine with OxyClean and um, they usually just turn out great. So that's the first one. That's kind of a psychedelic one. The second set that I got, which is so pretty, I'll just open up the pillowcase as opposed to the whole sheet, but is this pretty vintage. And I love this coral color in here. I think it mixes great with the yellow. And honestly, when I see this stuff, I don't think sheets. I think clothing. I think a skirt, a summer dress, a jumper. That's what I see in all of these, you know, vintage sheets that I see. Maybe a quilt back. Um, uh oh. Maybe the back of a quilt. Um, but I just think that's really pretty and so vintagey looking. And that's just that's just sweet. It's just really sweet. The next one I found, again, very similar in colors. It's got that vintage kind of cabbage rose. It's got some tulips on here. It's got this big, I don't know if that's a rose, peony, something like that. And of course the leaves, but this is just super pretty. I mean, I can totally picture one of those vintage style dresses that 
you know, blooms out at the bottom made out of this would be so pretty. And that goes for all of these. I mean, I just, I have a thing for these vintage linens. I don't know what it is. I could just collect them even if I never made anything of them, but I really want to start making something with some of them. Here's another great one. This colorway has been really popular in linens. In fact, I have two more that look almost identical to it, although they're slightly different, which is really weird. Let me just compare these real quick because I have this one and I have this one. And they are very similar, but I think the similarity is just in color and not necessarily in patterns. So although these could go great together, that's a big sheet right there. Although these could go great together, they are separate. And in fact, underneath here is, yeah, that matches this one. So this is a set. And these have hydrangeas on them, which I think are really pretty too. I will have to keep that one away from my mother. Here's another pretty one. And what I love about this, it's got some, I don't know if you can see that it's got some white on white print, tone on tone white. Kind of hard to see, but it is in there in between all the flowers. There's a white on white print of like a little vine with leaves and it's really pretty. And look at these springtime flowers. Wouldn't that be adorable in a skirt, in a romper, in a dress, in shorts, anything, on a bed? Okay, here's one that I think I'm probably gonna keep for myself. I found this, it was wrapped in the original wrapping, very old, probably came from, you know, the 70s or 80s, I don't know. I had to take it out of the wrapper in order to wash it, but look at this lilac print. Let's see here. Isn't this pretty? Ooh, smells like downy fabric softener. But I love this lilac print that's all over it. And I feel like this large scale print would make such a pretty maxi dress. It is pretty thin, but with a slip or something, I think it could make a really pretty maxi. So I'm not sure that that one will get sold. I think that that one, that one might stay home with Pinky. Okay, if you're into horses at all, look at this cute one. This is definitely microfiber. Microfiber is the word I was looking for when I was describing that blue and white striped little um, jumper that I got, microfiber. That's what it is. It felt like a microfiber sheet. But here's a really cute plaid sheet. And at the bottom, is that at the bottom? No, it's throughout. It's got this horse and rider, and I believe this might even be a licensed print of some kind. Oh yeah, it's from the movie Brave. This is the sheet from the movie Brave. And I really just, I love the spring colors of it. Great for a child's bedroom. Probably could be a curtain if you, well, I don't see a rod pocket, but it would be great as a curtain if you wanted to put a rod pocket in it for a kid's bedroom. But I just think that plaid is really pretty. So there's a whimsical touch to it. Let's see here. Oh, these are so pretty. This is a really large scale print. Kind of watercolor. Isn't that gorgeous? Here's a big giant yellow one. And in this, I have one, looks like a king size pillowcase and a fitted sheet. But how pretty is that? That's a cabbage rose right there. I keep thinking I'm gonna get interrupted because every time I get in the middle of starting to film, I do get interrupted. If it's not the dog, it's a human. Okay. This might possibly be my favorite sheet set that I found at the thrift store. It's this beautiful watercolor, almost Monet looking print. But what I really love about it, other than it's very high quality, you can feel that it's very high quality, but it's got this pretty edging on it. 
And this is the kind of linens that, honestly, I think I would use on the bed. I would make sure these were nice and sanitized and fresh. And I would put those on the bed in the summer because that is just too beautiful to cut it up. There's, there's the other one. I think I have two flat sheets of this because both of them have this really pretty, it's like a cotton edging on it. Crocheted edge kind of. Really pretty. I mean, I'm in love with these. I don't know, can I part with that? I'm not sure if I can part with it. Guess we're about to find out soon, huh? Very similar print to those is this one. In fact, I think they could be used together because the colors are the same, even though the print is different. And I think if this was gonna be used for a garment, the two of these would be great together as color blocking or for tears on a dress. I think those would go so well together with the large and small scale. But it is just very similar in the way it looks and very similar in colors, just a smaller version. So lots of roses on these. This is just really a garden. Haven't I made some great finds? I'm so tickled with all my linens. You know, I've had my Poshmark store for probably about five years off and on. And um, I primarily started doing clothing. And um, lately it's like, I don't even wanna bother with the clothing anymore. I'm just gonna sell off my whole clothing inventory that's in there make it affordable, try to get it off the shelves because I'm really into the linens and the linens sell really well. So I think I might just kind of segue into doing only linens and try not to sew up or steal all the linens that I have in my shop. Here's a really pretty one. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this basket weave pattern. And I love it with this beautiful edging on it that has the roses. So pretty. That is just a flat sheet. That is just the only piece I have of that particular one is a flat sheet. This one, which really reminded me a little bit of the Monstera plant. This is actually a tablecloth. It's a big, long rectangle tablecloth. And I'm not sure that I'm going to get rid of this. I might list it in the shop and see if I can get, you know, what I want for it. But if I can't, I could totally see me sewing this into something. It's just a really pretty vintage. I mean, that just screams like the 70s or something to me. I don't know. That's not from today, that's for sure. Although these prints are definitely coming back in. All this plant life, the monstera, all the green leaves, that's all coming back in. And look how pretty it looks next to that one. I just want to mix these all up and make some tiered dresses out of them. Okay, here's a set that I can't part with. I just fell in love with this. I don't even know if I have, if it'll fit on any of my beds, but just feast your eyes on that beautiful sheet. I love it. And I want to make something out of it. I don't know if I'll, I mean, I don't think, I think I checked and it won't fit any of our beds we have just a queen and a king and I think this is a full but I will definitely make something beautiful out of this and what's left of it I can always make a quilt back or just make a little blankie to throw on my bed I don't know but I can't let that go away I just I have to keep it I have to okay the very last one that I have to show you from my amazing thrift hauls is this really really amazing piece. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it has like a lattice print with a rose hedge. And I just love that. I think that's such a beautiful edging, would make a beautiful maxi dress, would make any, any kind of a beautiful dress, just utilizing that border. This is cotton, it's super soft. It is very clean and um, just the perfect kind of thing that I would put in my shop. Okay. The only other thing that I have to show you in this thrift haul is this piece of fabric that I found. And I've come to the conclusion that this 
it's actually not, it's petal and leaf, 100% cotton. Um, I think it was a curtain. I really think it was a curtain. There's no bed size or anything on it, but it's just really cute Paris print with the Eiffel Tower and the flowers and everything. It's just really, that's just really a cute little novelty print. So that is my thrift haul for now. Um, probably in another six weeks or so, if prices don't skyrocket at the thrift store, I'll have a whole nother collection to show you. In the meantime, I hope that you're having a great day. I hope you're sewing or crafting or just enjoying some peace and quiet time. That's what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. It's hot up in my sewing room, so I think I'm gonna go right over there to that hammock. The fan is blowing on it. I've already been there for a while today and I think I'm headed back that way now. So have a great day, everyone. And I'll see you again next Friday for Friday Sews. Bye now.